Again, this question is also posted by Vidya. This question is on boats and streams. So, try and give me the answer. Tell me what the answer will, will be and then I will start solving. See, this is also actually a very easy question. Only thing is, we have to approach it the correct way. If you approach it the correct way, it's a very easy one. So, I think I'll start. What is given? A yaj can row at a speed of 20 meters per second in still water. If the speed of the stream is 1 by 9 times the speed of the... Uh, 1 by 9 times the still water speed of the yaj, then by what percentage should the speed of the yaj be increased so that it can cover... 1362 kilometers in 15 hours okay so first thing you have to note here is that some like that a uh, speed is given in terms of meter per second and the distance is given in terms of kilometers and time in terms of hours so we know that everything has to be in the same unit right so we have to change that keep that in mind now see what is happening here i have to cover 1362 kilometers in 15 hours. So, generally what is my net speed? See, the yacht is going downstream. Correct? The yacht is going downstream. So, the net speed of the yacht is nothing but u plus v. Correct? The speed of the yacht in still water plus the speed of the water current. Okay? So, what is the uh, net speed that is required? Right? To cover 1362 in 15 hours. The net speed that is required to cover 1362 in 15 hours is nothing but 1362 divided by 15, right? The net speed that you require to cover 1362 kilometers in 15 hours is nothing but 1362 divided by 15, which is equal to 90.8, I guess, right? 90.8 kilometers per hour. So, this has to be your net speed, okay, to cover... 1362 kilometers in 15 hours. Now, what is the net speed that we have right now? See, the yacht can row at a speed of 20 meters uh, per second in still water. So, u is 20 meters per second and what is v? v is 1 by 9 times that or 20 by 9, correct? Or the net speed now is 20 plus 20 by 9 meters per second or that is nothing but 200 by 9 meters per second. Now, what is this in terms of kilometers per hour? This in terms of kilometers per hour is 200 by 9 into 18 by 5, right? Or 40, 80. So, 80 kilometers per hour is the net speed now, right? Or net speed is the relative speed basically, right? The speed of the boat in still water plus the speed of the water current. Right, this is the net speed currently, but if I have to cover 1362 kilometers in 15 hours, this has to be the net speed. So, by what should the yacht increase its speed? The increase in speed has to be 90.8 minus 80 or 10.8 kilometers per hour. This should be the increase in the speed. Now, what is the question? By what percentage should the speed of the yacht be increased? Right. What was the speed of the yacht earlier? See, another thing that you have to remember is, this is u and this is v, correct? Now, by what speed should the speed of the yacht be increased? So, what was the speed of the yacht earlier? Earlier, the speed of the yacht was 20 meters per second or 20 into 18 by 5, which is equal to 72 kilometers per hour, right? And now it has to increase its speed by 10.8. Or what is the percentage that we are looking for? 10.8 divided by 72. Is it clear? See, I will try to explain it once again. What is given here is that there is a yacht, okay, which is uh, moving in the still water at a speed of 20 meters per second. Or the currently the speed of the yacht is 20 meters per second, okay. And if you are including the steam stream speed, right stream speed is 20 by 9 meters per second or the net speed has now become 200 by 9 meters per second which is 80 kilometers per hour right in terms of kilometers per hour so this 80 kilometers per hour is nothing but the speed of the yacht plus the speed of the water current correct this is the net speed okay now this has to become 90.8 kilometers per hour. This is constant. This will not change. Correct? Whatever this was earlier, it is the same only. This SY has to increase by 
10.8. What was the value of Sy earlier? The value of Sy was 20 meters per second or in terms of kilometer per hour, it is 72 kilometers per hour. So now it has to increase by 10.8 so that this net speed will become 90.8. So what is the percentage that you are looking for? 10.8 divided by 72 into 100 which is equal to 15 percentage. Is it clear? See out of these percentage itself when it is 10.8 divided by 72 right 10 percentage of uh, 72 is 7.2 so wrong it can't be 25 percentage obviously it has to be somewhere between 10 and 20 only 15 is there anyway since none of these is there you can simplify and also get the answer this has to be your answer okay this part how do I write is it see to reach this 1362 kilometers in 15 hours the net speed that is the speed of the yacht plus the speed of the water current this has to be 90.8 kilometers per hour correct now I know that currently the speed of the yacht plus the speed of the water is 80 kilometers per hour that is 20 plus 20 by 9 in terms of kilometers per hour that's all it's 80 kilometers per hour so there has to be an increase of 10.8 kilometers per hour this 10.8 kilometers per hour increase will happen where it will happen in the speed of the yacht right the yacht has to increase the speed the speed of the water current is the same that's not going to change right speed of the water current won't change the speed of the yacht only has to increase so what was the speed of the yacht earlier it was 20 meters per second 20 meters per second is nothing but 72 kilometers per hour so when now I am doing everything in terms of kilometers per hour right so earlier if the speed of the yacht was 72 kilometers per hour now it has to become 72 plus 10.8 correct or by what percentage is the speed increasing earlier it was 72 it is increasing by 10.8 what percentage does this refer to okay I hope it is clear see the only confusion might be in your mind is this conversions that happen right if you understand that it's very easy right from meters per second to kilometers per hour 